Hello dear viewer and welcome to this Let's Review Fire Emblem Heroes for Parents. So parents, first up, you may want to understand that uh, this game apparently has something right here. Okay, I must have clicked Roy by accident, but uh, anyway, we got the app release bonus. So starting the game now, it is a free to play game, you don't have to spend money on it. And they are giving out orbs, which is their in-app payment. In kind of the whole, if you want to buy orbs, then you can go to the shop, purchase orbs. And the highest payment is $75. Now, there are no refunds. This is explained in the user agreement and the FAQ. So if you go to the user agreement, go down, you'll eventually find things about it. You can pause if you want to read that, but the faster way to find that is to go here, and let's see, where is the I mistakenly purchased orbs? Refunds will not be given for purchased orbs. Please make your purchases carefully. So this game, you may want to watch your wallet or have in-app payments turned off. Um, I don't think it's too difficult to summon heroes in this. They've been pretty... Um, you know, good with giving out orbs. You can get orbs by beating levels. Eventually, that would run out. But I've summoned about seven times with not paying a dime. Um, because of that, I've only got two five-star units, which are the best units generally. Roy and Erica. Everybody else, four-star and below. Now, the other way they might want to get you is through feathers. That's what you earn through playing the game. It takes a long time, possibly four months, in order to get somebody from four stars, such as Sharina, to five stars. So that's one thing you may want to know. Uh, another thing that you may want to know is that your allies, eh, it's kind of treated almost a little bit like a dating sim in some ways. So if you tap, you can hear various phrases. So, it's a little bit suggestive in some parts. Uh, there are some curse words in some of the story missions that the characters say. Uh, usually not terrible ones, depending on what you think. Um, so, I would say middle school, high school. The age rating's pretty clear. Um, other than that, there are also different artworks available for characters. Each artwork is used in combat, pretty much. Uh, this is just your standard character portrait, attack animation, special skill animation, and if your character gets hurt, they will show up like this. So it will be brief in combat, and I can show that off for you. So without further ado, let's do some training. Hmm. Another thing to notice is that there is stamina in this game. It takes five minutes per stamina to regen, so it's about mm, four and a half hours, give or take a few minutes from my calculation that I just did in my brain, <laughs> that uh, you can use stamina potions to recharge. I believe you can buy stamina potions. Uh, but honestly, they've given quite a few out just through quests and things. I think I have over 10 right now. Uh, the dueling swords in the top as well. There are three swords. Those are for arena duels, the PvP. You can use dueling crests to restore those. And in arenas, you can get feathers. That's going to be your main area of getting feathers, because most of the time, you just get about 10 per day. You get five from your characters, and then if you have friends, they will also give you feathers. So 15 total today from that. Anyway, without further ado, combat. Let's get my best team up here. You can have five teams at a time, and you can switch them out pretty easily. Uh, it's kind of annoying you can't do that before combat as much, but, you know, they might change that in the future. Okay, so let's go to Lunatic go. here. All right, the leveling system is pretty generous. Uh, it doesn't take too long at the moment because there's an XP times uh, 1.5 or 150% more XP. The maximum level is 40. 
it does take a while to get from 39 to 40. <laughs> the XP bump does increase over time, but to get to level 20, which is when you can promote units, it's okay. Hmm, so let's see. For this, yes. we want Roy to tank the green mage because red beats green, green beats blue, blue beats red. That's the weapon triangle, and then there are some people outside the triangle that are colorless, transparent, gray, whatever you want to call them. Usually they're archers and ranged attackers or healers. So let's see, Sharina might be able to tank here. Yes. Bows are super effective against flying units, so I'm going to try and prevent Camilla from getting shot here. All right. We'll try and blow that up. Set Gordon up to get shot. He's slow, but he's tanky. Okay, and I'm over leveled for this, so I'm not too worried about it. You got it. Let's see, what skill does he have? Growing Light. Okay, so these are the active skills. And right now, I don't have the combat animations on. But you can turn them on, off, etc, etc. I'm going to turn all of them on for now. And now, let's see, Camilla can almost take that guy out. Yes. So we're going to do this. Support Camilla, give her extra attack, and with her brave weapon, she can attack twice. Okay. So as you saw there, she was unhurt and she had her normal animation. She didn't have her super skill up, so she didn't use her bright flashy animation there. Hmm, so this guy will kill Gordon. Hmm. I don't really want that to happen if I can prevent it, Let's but go. I don't think I can prevent it. What now? So, hmm. Damage, not damage. That is the question. Yeah, we'll just do it. So, that is Gordon's hurt animation right there. Since he had already taken yes. damage first, that's how it appeared. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Goodbye, Sharina. Ouch. Okay, that's not terrible. And because Abel is blue, he doesn't deal as much damage. To a green. It's about a 20% difference in attack based on your weapon advantage or disadvantage. So, Roy will do about 8 plus damage from his attack, uh, so it'll be about 50 in his calculation, not including his skill of giving an extra 20%. So he does huge damage to green units. Boom. Of course. And Camilla, with her brave weapon and her ability to gain more speed, can do a lot of damage as well. So parents, that's kind of the strategy of this game is the rock, paper, scissors, weapon triangle. Uh, it's not terribly hard to understand, and there are various skills that your characters have that can influence it. Also weapons, and so on and so forth. This is why you have these various stars to characters. You can get one and two star characters every day from these special battles or special maps. So today's is Cecilia. She's a decent ranged attacker, the magic tome, the green magic tome that she wields, uh, shows you that she does green damage and that she can shoot from afar with magic. So she'll hurt resistance as a stat. And as you can see here, resistance, less damage it takes from magical attacks. Attack, more damage it will inflict on foes. Uh, this used to be magic and attack stats separate, but now they've combined it just into attack in this Fire Emblem game. So, anything else parents might want to know? Hmm. Well, honestly, this is probably my uh, favorite free-to-play game right now because it does have a story to it. There's actually a purpose in collecting all these things and trying to keep on going on. There are different modes to the story. You can get orbs for unlocking each level and beating it and so on and so forth so i really do enjoy this game and you've heard the bad parts of it and the good parts of it 
So if you want to get any more information on summoning units or on tips to play the game, I have other videos on that. Well, parents, I hope you enjoyed this little informative review. <laughs> if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Have a good day, dear viewer.